This is the TV News, the industry's only daily video report. Brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative needs, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution. Welcome to the TV News.TV for Friday, March 26th. And here are today's top stories. Nearly every media outlet on planet Earth now has April 5th circled on their collective calendar. That's because on Masters Monday, Tiger Woods will be facing the glare of the lights, the grind of the cameras, and the queries of the reporters for his first press conference since, well, you know, blah, 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 blah. Now, at this time, no details have been released as to what kind of questions are within bounds, which are out of bounds, but it's a fait accompli that it will be some kind of media circus, and according to the sports pundits, it's also a done deal that this year's Masters will be the most viewed tournament in the history of golf. So stay tuned. You are looking live at the Huffington Post media headline. You think they're in a huff about Discovery's TLC picking up Sarah Palin's reality show, Sarah Palin's Alaska? Yeah. The Huff writes that they cannot understand the company that delivers life, planet Earth, and planet green blowing up their brand by aligning themselves with someone who the Post has branded as having taken anti-nature stances vis-a-vis -vis climate change and preserving natural resources. It appears that to answer their central question of Discovery TLC's move, that the Huffington Post will just have to drill baby drill. And while we're on the subject of senselessness, tonight marks the cessation of live continuous forecasting on the Weather Channel on Friday nights, once again, for movies that you can see just about anywhere. Now, we asked you via Facebook, LinkedIn, and our email address to address the wisdom of now three, count them, three straight nights, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, of no continuous live forecasting in what can only be described as a brand imploding move. And here's what you had to say from Facebook. If I need to know the weather during the weekend, I go to the Weather Channel. I already have hundreds of other choices for movies. And, quote, I'm putting in my own Doppler radar and I'm saving on cable, unquote. From LinkedIn, the internet and mobile TV has made forecasting on the Weather Channel obsolete. Well, let me respond to that one. Air travel has made the automobile obsolete. Wrong. Plus. Quote, and we subscribers are paying for this? Answer, yeah, you are. And finally, sounds like a great opportunity for a competitor. And we could not agree with that last comment more. Thanks to everyone who chose to get involved and responded. We'll see what happens with Cinema Weather Channel 2.0, and we'll let you know what happens. The Sports TV News is brought to you by Store & Associates, sports and entertainment marketing specialists. Log on to storeandassociates.com and start connecting with sponsors and consumers. Earlier this week, we talked about the phenomenon that is 3D TV, and the sports industry has been one of the early adapters. Here to talk about that more and tell you exactly what's going on in 3D TV and sports is our very own Eric Mackerlin. Eric, what's the story? Hey, thanks, Jeff. You know, as everyone knows, Wednesday night was another landmark in television history as MSG Network and Cablevision got together to air the first sports television program in 3D ever. That was a hockey game between the Rangers and their bitter rival, the New York Islanders. Well, few people in the New York area could see it because, quite frankly, not everybody's got a 3D TV these days, not very many people at all. 2,500 people packed themselves into the theater at Madison Square Garden to watch the game with their 3D glasses. Something was pretty impressive. They sold that theater out pretty quickly. Now the folks at MSG apparently are going to be putting a lot of faith in this. They're actually considering that they may have to change the seating arrangements at the, at the garden to accommodate 3D equipment into the future. So it's something they think that has a lot of viability and something they're going to keep their eye on as time goes on. Now they're not the only sports television people who are looking at 3D. Just a couple of weeks, Comcast is going to be broadcasting the Masters in 3D. That's going to be something to see. And then in June, ESPN is going to debut ESPN 3D. They're going to do the first program they're going to put up on there. It's going to be a World Cup match, but there's going to be plenty more after that. You're going to see the Summer X Games in 3D, the NBA in 3D, and then college basketball and college football. Plenty of programming there. 
also debuting in June, is going to be DirecTV's 3D product. They're going to roll out three channels with the help of the folks at Panasonic. There's going to be a movie channel, an on-demand channel, and a sampler channel where we figure that's where we're going to see our sports. Now, for me, Jeff, I'm always excited when we see something new in television technology. And 3D TV is something exciting. It's something I want to see. Matter of fact, the next time in New York, I'm in New York, if MSG does this again, I'm going to grab some 3D glasses and get myself to the garden. The only problem is I'm not sure my wallet can handle it. <laughs> Me neither. Hey, Eric, thanks for telling us everything we need to know about big time sports and 3D TV. It looks like it's a marriage made in heaven. We thank you and we will see you next Friday. Future events and opportunities brought to you by Dude Walker. Get the best voice. Get the best price. Get Dude at DudeWalker.com. This May 11th through the 13th, the cable show will be front and center. And remember, the FCC big guy will be on hand. So to register, log on to 2010.thecableshow.com. And if you want to reach the top TV types with your message in glorious video, become an advertiser on the TV News. To get started, you can click on this link at thetvnews.tv or you can simply email us at advertise at thetvnews.tv. And that's about it for today's edition of the TV News. We'll be back on Monday with top news and the big picture, news analysis and commentary. And finally, if you've missed any editions this week of the TV News, they are safe and sound in our archives. Just click away and knock yourself out. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. Thanks for watching and go out and make it a great weekend. The TV News has been brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative challenges, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution.